it's December and that means ask Dash. Let's get into another one. Hey, this is Dash and today, 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 I am going to be bringing you episode number 20 in the 2022 Ask Dash video series. So hopefully you've been enjoying the series. I know I have 20 of these videos have been uh, kicking my butt. <laughs> I am inside of the house. It is actually below freezing outside. So the next few videos are going to take place from my normal Wednesday night live stream spot. And if you don't know what I'm talking about as far as the Wednesday evening live stream, you can join me here on the channel with your favorite adult beverage in hand. <laughs> we normally talk about something barbecue or barbecue business related for the first hour of the live stream. And then the second hour, by that time, we kind of talk about almost any and everything. Anyway, let's get back into episode 20. So today's question comes from Show Me The Water. This is Mark from Florida's Space Coast, as he so eloquently puts. He says, Dash, question, your path seems sound and was the direction I had in mind. At some point, I will need permits and licenses, etc. Not you, but in your expertise and observations, when is a good time to begin taking care of those things? Thanks, Mark, again, from <clears throat> Florida's Space Coast. So, Mark, in my opinion, I really feel like you, I won't say you, you're not going to need those things until you need them, but you're probably not going to know what you need until you need it. You can ask someone what you need and they'll tell you you need something, but then someone else will come along and tell you you need this other thing. So it's a uh, it's kind of difficult to tell you exactly what you're going to need until you actually need it. I don't know how to go about figuring out what it is you are going to need unless you do something like ask someone who was already in a position that you're trying to get into. You probably or hopefully you might be able to find someone in your area that is possibly doing you know some some catering or doing some you know vending of food and you might even be able to find someone that's doing barbecue in my experience in my you know what happened with me when i was getting started i went to someone and asked them humbly like hey can can you and i sit down and break bread and drink drink and you know can i talk to you kind of pick your brain about how you're doing or what you're doing here in Baltimore. And he was like, hey, I, I've heard of you, I've seen you. And I'm like, really, you you know who I am? He's like, well, I, you know, he, he didn't put it so eloquently to say he knew who I was, but he said he saw what it was I was doing. And one of the things that I was doing at the time was making smokers. He's like, yeah, you should, you probably shouldn't go ahead and try to sell food. He's like, you should probably just keep making smokers and you know tell people how to use the smokers. So he permanently got added to my list, okay? And I'm not gonna name names because I've told you guys who this person is before, but that little bit of discouragement, it just fueled me on, really. Because I'm like, oh, really? I was like, oh, okay, you know, I'm all like, yeah, maybe I will do that. Come on, for real? Get the f Come on now. Who, who? Who? Why? And you know, the worst part is this guy, he. Anyway. <clears throat> so he discouraged me, or he tried to discourage me, and that only spurred me on. And spurring me on is, is what led me to doing other things, to getting to the point where I am now, seven years later, where I'm like, hey, uh, why can't I sell barbecue? Why can't I do with it what it is I'm doing? I'm just not to that point yet. And a lot of it is because I'm still doing this pretty much part time. And, and we're back. So I think I was talking about how I was doing barbecue part time. And with that being said, I, I'm trying to keep things down around here and not get them all the way up here. So some of the licenses and other things that 
you might need, I have not acquired yet because I'm not to that point where I'm trying to sell food to the public. I am kind of still doing private sales. I'm still doing private events and other things like that. And you know, as you can see, the, the, the color gray that I have on, it's, you know, it's a bit of that area. So Mark, Mark, I think it's Mark. Come on, Mark, sorry. I had to find your name. I wanted to make sure I said the right name. Mark, best of luck to you. And obviously, again, you're not going to know what you need until you find someone that's in a very unique and similar position to be able to give you the information that you're asking. Unfortunately, I know that I am not in a similar position that you are because I am geographically somewhere else. And things are probably a little different from what you're doing or where you're doing it from where I'm doing it. I can tell you, Maryland is not a fun state to do almost anything. Um, it, it, there's way too many rules and regulations and hurdles in, in Maryland. This is what Maryland does. This, this is, they're like, you know how Jesse James had that tattoo in his hand and said, pay me? Maryland. Anyway. Thank you so very much as always for watching. Uh, Mark, I see another question of yours is coming up soon, so stay tuned. Not only you, Mark, but any and everyone else who's watching. Thank you guys so very much again as always for watching. If you haven't already, please, please, please do get your question down below. There are, as the last time I checked, four or five more spots. So don't, uh, don't be bashful, get your question in, and hopefully I'll be able to get an answer before time is up. I'll see you guys.